Two UK soldiers have been charged and accused of being mercenaries by separatists loyal to the Kremlin after being captured in the eastern Donbass region of Ukraine. UK's Foreign Office says it condemns the exploitation of prisoners of war and is supporting the men's families. Another two British citizens captured by Russian forces charged with being mercenaries. 22-year-old Dylan Healy from Cambridgeshire was reportedly working as an aid volunteer when he was seized with another British citizen. 35-year-old Andrew Hill from Plymouth, understood to be a father of four and a former British soldier, was in Ukraine volunteering with the military. They were both arrested in April and are being held in the so-called Donetsk People's Republic, a breakaway region in eastern Ukraine that's been fighting Ukrainian forces since 2014. Stanislav Asayev was held by the same group for two and a half years until he was released in a prisoner swap in 2019. He refers to the prison he was at as a concentration camp. I was in, in Izolatia for 28 months. So uh, all I see is uh, torture for every day, not only for me. It's, only for, it's also for, for women, for women in Zalatsa and, and men, and uh, it, was, uh, it was terrible. Were you tortured? Yes, I am. Uh, electricity by electricity. He's optimistic any British prisoners may be treated differently. Я маю надію, що через розголос цієї справи до них ставляться значно краще, ніж до мене і до інших в'язнів. Mr. Healy and Mr. Hill are facing the same mercenary charges as Aidan Aslin and Sean Pinner, who were sentenced to the death penalty in June. Sky News met the two British men in the trenches before their arrests. They'd been living in Ukraine and maintained they were legitimately serving with the country's military. The Foreign Office has said, we condemn the exploitation of prisoners of war and civilians for political purposes and have raised this with Russia. We are in constant contact with the government of Ukraine on their cases and are fully supportive of Ukraine in its efforts to get them released. It's understood up to 100 foreign nationals have been taking prisoner in this war so far. But one organisation working in aid in Ukraine says the arrests of British citizens are being far more widely publicised. It's showing that Russia is, has a, uh, seeing Britain as, as a, a big ally to Ukraine in this and therefore using uh, British prisoners as a way of uh, maybe negotiating but also using very political tools. Earlier this week, Ukraine announced the largest exchange of prisoners of war since Russia invaded, securing the release of 144 of its soldiers. It seems there's far more political capital in holding British prisoners, and there's great concern over their fate.